So hi guys, we're in the spray booth today. Rich is with me. And today we're gonna to show you some simple gun setup. Well, we hope it's simple. I'm a simple guy, so it's gotta be simple. Try, right? try and keep it simple. Let's give it a go, guys. Have fun, bye. Hi everyone, so Case has got me on it again. Um, today, we're actually gonna be shooting the metallic, but we thought before we did that, we'd just show very quick gun setup. Um, now I know everyone's got their own preference, right? Deville, Beer, Style, Water, Sarta, many, many guns out there. Principle is, um, of setup is all the same. So I'm just gonna run you through it very, very quickly. So what we have here, uh, we've got three, three knobs on the gun. Some might say four, including me. I have a big influence on what the gun does as well, but at the moment, let's deal with the three. So we have air in, this is the air into the gun. That denotes the pressure, and we've got on this particular gun, we've got a pressure gauge here. We've then got air to the horns, so the horns are at the front here. This is the bit that, that shapes the fan. So if we have too much air, we can split the fan. If we don't have enough, we don't get atomization. And then we've got the fluid itself, how much product is coming through. So I'm going to teach a very, very quick gun setup. If you wind your air all the way open, everything all the way open, and pull your trigger. If you then wind your fluid needle in until you've got resistance, it's at that point that if I move this in more, it will close my trigger. Hopefully you can see my finger here moving. So what we want is the guns are designed to work fully open. That's why we have needle and tip size choices, right? If you want less product, put a smaller tip. So in this particular case, I go all the way until I've got resistance. Now I've got a neutrally set gun ready to go. The next thing would be the air to my horn. So Kate, if you want to come in closer here, this gun normally runs at two bar. So what I'm going to do is set that at around two bar. Now those pressures can be different. We're talking static and dynamic. This is dynamic pressure. It's while the gun is open. I don't know if you could see that then. Um, initially when I pulled the trigger, it was 2.25. That's the static pressure. The dynamic as it's moving is two. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, next we're gonna put some paint in. Just to make our life easier here, we're using a, a quick cup on there. Now, I'm gonna hopefully show you over-pressurized and under-pressurized on this. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my mask off quickly. Here I over-pressurized a little bit, not super clear, but what you can get is, is almost like a figure of eight. That means you've got too much air going into the horns. If you imagine a balloon and you squash the balloon, you'll put a waste in it. And that's what's happening here. This is perfect. This is good distribution. We're not pu pushing too much air. We've got a really good pattern. And the other thing we're showing here is the distribution of our fan. We've got really good distribution across here. If I close the fan up, if you stay there, Case, uh, I'm gonna try and do this. If I close the fan up, I should lose the amount of, um, of, of legs I get off of here. So what I'm hoping on this one is we'll get more intense legs in the middle, which I think we're already starting to see anyway here. So you get more of a, a flow in the middle. And then our last check, I'm gonna take this off of here will be atomization. So we've got, the, we've got the setup at two bar. We've got the gun how we want it. And I'm gonna check my atomization. If I had poor atomization, so let me shut the, the air down a little bit on here. If I shut the air down a little bit, poor atomization, I'm hopefully it's gonna give me some black spots on the edge difficult to show you here but as I close the air down you can see I've got much bigger droplets